Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to episode 30 of Ruthless Solo Self Found Forbidden Sanctum League. And it is time we get to push into red maps today. Now, I want to apologize that the last video was so short, but as is Ruthless League, I can't guarantee that interesting stuff is going to happen. Like, I did close to 60 maps, probably. I got five uniques that are kind of mad, no crazy support gems. The only interesting thing that happened was a couple red maps dropped and a couple masters spawned in a map. I died a couple times. Like, there really isn't anything I can really add to that outside of, like, running Sanctum when that also slows my progress at running the maps. So all the T10 maps are done. We have 15 red maps. Hopefully I can take this and find some way of sustaining it, be it through uh, Kirak missions or an Alva temple, but we don't have much at our disposal to do that. So we shall see what happens. I only have 45 chisels. I do have some hammers. We can make some more chisels, but it is costly on blacksmiths, which I don't have the greatest amount of, but some we could spend for that. I don't know like what level of maps is it worth using the chisels on with 13 being the highest tier map. I could also horizon this potentially and try and make a channel or a layer map. I have nine. You know what? Let's do that. Horizon. Boom. Okay, there's a layer. So this one will chisel. So we're definitely going to alk it. Minus max chaos res boss damage. Not too bad, but let's corrupt it. Okay, easier T13 map. So this is where we'll get started. Should also get the blight gem to level 20 today, as well as other gems will start hitting level 20 as well. A lot of them are close. That will up the power of the build substantially. Hopefully I can keep myself alive and get myself to level 89 as well. But this is also going to be my last video in this series until after the gauntlet event in just under two weeks time. I'm going to spend some time preparing for that as well as playing in the event itself. So you will see a hiatus in these videos for some time, though I will continue making videos to update on the process as it goes through the gauntlet practice and gauntlet itself. So let's jump right in to a T13 layer map. And even with an enfeeble in here, like monsters are dying, rare enemies I'll hit with a little bit of blight and they're going to die. I don't have anything to lower the effect of the enfeeble curse on me at all. So just how it's going to be. And it seems okay. And I guess I can start storing sanctums that are at this higher tier. I've seen one person say 80 and one person say 81 as the cutoff requirement for being able to spawn the actual final boss of the sanctum. I'm not sure exactly what that is but maybe so maybe i'll keep it to t13 above maps to see smuggler's cash a blueprint monster level 80 blueprint yikes the vendiri bomb okay so it appeared that some of the just basic heist quest items are limited by item level or else i would have already received the vendiri bomb quest a sextant? Yo, that's a first. I've not seen a sextant drop. All right, now for the boss. And he wants to target me, not my totem. Thank you. There we go. Now he's stacking the totem. I can just sit here, ramp up my blight stacks. And with the ball blight. And there we go. Got a vol orb in return. Valeric invitation. Perhaps that's something I go for now and an alva mission acquired atlas passive point so as i got the alva mission i'm going to put this into time dilation time gain from kills is doubled incursions so i will be able to complete those more thoroughly there is a note here that i can complete a temple in three maps which i hear a lot of people talking about but you can't build your temple as high. You can't get as many T3 rooms and such. I don't know about that. I think the next most important note is contested development. So if you kill an architect um, that's not already in the like say you have a tier two room in your temple, but you want to take the the other architect to get that architect's room instead of your tier two room, this will cause the, the tiers of the original architect's room to add to the new room. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I think those are the next most valuable. And I can't let go of my abyss spawn chance and things because uh, that's kind of my main goal or ruthless. Let's throw in this Polaric Invitation. Fight the Black Star. I should be able to handle this okay. And I am very trapped in the red area. Okay, lots of red stacks. That means... That shouldn't hurt us bad. Just gotta watch out for the ads. Ow! Stay in the side. It all depends about which stacks you have. Now I have like 13 stacks of 
the red, that means I'm going to take lots of extra fire damage. But if I stack up the blue stacks, then I will take less fire damage, but more cold damage. So yeah, this avalanche won't kill you. You have lots of stacks of the fire side. But there we go. Fight completed. Now I can work towards Searing Exarch if I were to get higher tier maps. And additional point here. Take this pack size. So then I'll be two points away from contested development. Cool. There is still a T12 map I've not completed, but it's a one in six. All right. I guess it would be a one in five chance on Horizon. I don't want to use Horizon here, I don't think. But I will. I'll chisel this. I'm going to out it. Yikes. Should be doable though. But we'll take a, an incursion in here to guarantee that I have it up to at least tier 12. Maybe I can get some map drops out of here and then start moving this influence to the Searing Exarch. Really pushing my limits when I probably should have grinded out the gym level first. So that's going to be a lot of extra damage. I have a chest full of items and I should easily be able to sustain the time in this now. I mean, if there's any monsters in here to fight, what is this? Am I going to get kicked out of here already? Where were the monsters? I like I there was nothing on the entire half except for the architect. What was that? Okay, rip. Final boss penetrates resistances. That sounds really bad for an ember. 5% rarity. Sure. Got an abyss in here. What's this time? Shrine of Empowerment. That's really good. Maybe monsters will spawn inside of this incursion. Yes. I'm just like, boom. I'm gonna ramp up my time really fast. There we go. Got the architect. Now I need the key. Now because of that one note on the tree, this incursion is normal like better than a normal incursion and this one has freaking all res and i'm not gonna make it to this door ah oh. Orchard map, T13, cool. Yeah, that one has 25 chaos res. And I was able to do more than that incursion than I normally am in lesser incursions. Ah, oh, rip. Flame Harbinger. What do you know? Freaking Flame Harbingers. I go, I go to thinking, why, why did so many, like so few fireballs hurt me so bad? Oh yeah, because these enemies are broken. Try chest contain items again. And let me through, my goodness. Magic enemies. Not the architect. And there's the Stone of Passage. Ah, come. Come on, see I survived that. I got a life tap and a tempest shield out of there. Wow. Burning ground's going to absolutely wreck me in here because of the diminished life recovery. Decoy totem though can draw a lot of the fire and do so very well it seems. Cool. Made that boss much easier. Now to contend with the abyss. Okay. It's moving. Good. Really can't let myself get hit here because all the fizz is extra. A lot of abyss monsters are based in physical damage, so gotta be careful. And they ha I have them spawning like extra monsters. Missile Trove gives me a Citadel bow. Okay. T12 map down. Got a T13 out of it. That's something. And two good gyms. Next, I guess I grab two T5 maps and let's get this Alva Temple. Currency items or I upgrade this architect. So what I could do if I had that node, I could take the currency items and I'd gain the two stacks of the Temple Nexus onto this room. So I believe I'd get a T3 room had I, if I had that node and killed this architect. But I think I have to take the upgrade room. It's not the best spot for it, but sure. Oh, and I'm in a white map, so just got 30 seconds by the time I made it to the architect. Forge room, we get upgrade again. And the last one here, traps for additional fire damage. Like. Gotta go with traps. Here we go. Increases the life of the Omnitech and monsters throughout the temple, but increases item yield of the temple. I think this is one of the most important things you can get in your temple in this league. Or I should say in ruthless mode. Ooh, two stones of passage. Sure. Defiance banner. What we got here? Can upgrade the warehouses. Okay. The rare items came out of incursion. That's cool. Oh, nice. It even gave me... The last one up here, so I can upgrade this room, connect it to the boss, and we'll have a full temple. This one came with all magic enemies too, so this one should be quite rewarding, I would imagine. Let's see. The circle completed itself. Three rare items. And then in we go. And sacrifice unique item. T3 Museum of Artifacts. Monster level 79. 20% increased items. And I think that is before the buff that Alva gives. Yeah, Alva gives you a buff that you have increased quantity and rarity. It's like it's at 10% quant and rarity. At least in Ruthless. I don't know what it is in the base game. And here's the Thaumaturgy Vessel. So we Guaranteed gems. What we got? Ancestral protector and searing bond. Ooh. 20% quality flask, eh? How did this roll? It rolled on the low side. 
on the amount recovered. Skills cost no mana during flask effect. Laviangia Spirit. Cool. Really nice of it to come 20% quality. Control Destruction just hit level 20. Hmm. I just had the realization that it is probably easier to spawn at Ziri in a temple than it is to get to at Ziri. The only sacrifice fragment I've gotten is from a Vault of Ziri unique map. Probably get a T3 in one of these rooms pretty easily by comparison to getting the fragments and that gives you at Ziri drops a bunch of ancient hordes in this room item count is good coming out of them another one only two items out of there oh yikes another ancient horde hey a lot of items came out of that one high rarity as well only one rare item but same as with these there was a uh, an eclipse staff in one of them. We got the boss. I have to hit them with the bay in like the second they spawn or they're gonna make it to the Omnitect. Luckily I have the Vol Blight to help with such things. But it also replenishes its energy shield, which I kind of just go right through anyways. Ooh, ooh. Hey, there it goes. A string of servitude with determination aura effect. I do not have a determination to even use with that. I was hoping for a jewel, but did not get one. Okay, on the table of sacrifice, I offer the belt of your fallen leader temple. What you got? Perseverance. High life roll, low, cold, meh. Four rooms left. Not a single map has dropped. There we go. T13 lair map. All you gotta do is complain about the game. Temple's been giving me terrible map drops man it's just been off it did just take out my third haul of loot though yeah hey, so we're another pair of these lion eyes boots found some of those last time a quill rain that's cool not as cool as a map drop would be though right oh yikes a legion guaranteed war hordes in this on both sides so i need to just look for those here we go oh there was a boss i should have gone for the boss maybe oh. I don't know. I didn't see the war horde. Four splinters. All right, taking my fourth trip of items out of this temple. In the last room, the temple nexus. I don't think that these minions that revive because they're minions of a rare enemy should be able to revive themselves if the rare enemy is not within like a screen's distance. Seems pretty good for a full temple. So it's a pretty large area. I left only 10 monsters alive and all that it's good all jerks aside though i only got one map out of here but i took four trips of rare loot and uniques i gained almost 10 percent of a level i can't really complain at all about that and the one map it did drop happened to be a t13 so i'll take it so let's chisel these t13s up how come both crit this is fire less recovery rate not the worst not great early weakness Okay, Shocked Ground the Orchard. Both of those are doable. Which one's easier? Probably the Orchard. So if I do not get a T14 map out of this lair, or at least another T13 map, then I will run the next incursion in the Orchard. This is going to be easier than the last one. No Chaos Res. Solrind hit level 20. Before any of the other things I'm leveling, the Solrind. Courthouse map, T12. Good. I'll take it. Bane, Despair, and Malevolence. That's good. Get him. Yeah. I have to remember, I can't just spend Alks on every map either. I've already gone through a lot. Okay, so we'll save the Chisels for 13 and up, as well as Alks. So these, I just, they get transmuted and augmented. I'll run the T12s. Because if there's a chance I can get a T14, I gotta go for it. T12s can no longer spawn Searing Exarch Influence. Why I'm only running one of these, so that I can still spawn Influence in these lower maps. Because even after I complete the Searing Exarch, I'll only be able to spawn... Exarch influence in 14 plus maps. So progressing the story actually hinders you in that way. Okay, another control destruction. Essence strains common. Essence strain says 46,000 with the arcane surge. 41,9. 46,1. Okay, that must be the offhand essence strain that I just leveled. Yep, it would appear that way. It also means I can vol essence strains. Try and get a level 21. D12 map in return. Okay, there's the essence strain level. 41.9. The 46. So it's about 10% more. It's about the same that Arcane Surge gives. Pretty nifty. 10% more damage is a lot. Especially when it's a rate of degen. Temp chains level. I did not understand until just now looking at the damage numbers. That the infusion that I get from channeling Blight up here. I thought it was just supported gems. But that does increase the damage of my essence strain. So like when that ticks off I'm going to lose some damage here yeah it's actually uh, like another 5k so getting this infused channeling up is actually really big and yeah the writhing invitation i'm just going to continue to leave on the ground there we go 
There's the Mob Light level. 8,660. That was with Arc and Search. So this currently says, oh my goodness, Fin Coil. And I just hit the gym level. So with Arcane Surge and Infusion, it's now 10... 1573 you know what let's do a different way so before my max damage was 684,000 with a 20 stack blight we bring this in now 18 stacks of blight gets me higher damage than i previously had almost 100k more at max stacks it's pretty solid that's the maximum blight that i can hope to achieve which re required me to cast blight for like four and a half seconds to get to that but it lasts for like eight seconds. And then you add in the Bane. It has 155,000 DPS. And then there's the Essence Drain that has 218 on top of that. So in a perfect world with all the things up. So against the boss, essentially, I have a million damage on this scuffed Ruthless build. And if I change this to maximum sustainable stacks, it puts me at 20 because I have more cast speed and duration to even it out. POB, as always, will be in the video description. If I make any updates on a character, I will update it in the description with a new POB. Oh, and feeble levels. All right, I also now know that this boss can be extremely manipulated by a decoy totem. Yup, easy. Ah, Kirak mission. Yo, that's so huge. So now I can do my extremely large amount of lower tier Kirak missions to refresh the Kirak mission I have. Lesser Eldric Eager. Okay, so it slapped us on these boots. Bleeding you inflict deals damage fast. Yup, or Gret Orb as well. Okay then, what is this Atlas mission looking like? T13 shows up in here. Oh, that's a T14 map. T14 volcano that is corrupted. Before I get on this, let's think about removing the heist spawn chance and getting back this 15% quality Kirak missions. All right, it's not going to apply that until it re-rolls. Okay, so I have a white map that has strong boxes all over it. No unique items and no completion maps for me here. Instead of running that, I could also... I have lots of scouting reports as well. Let's hit one scouting report. T14 Drox. The last Drox map I did did not go well in any way, shape, or form. And it's also a dungeon, so it's not a map completion. Cemetery is not corrupted. It did give me a cemetery though. Check for unique maps. Nothing super special. All the lower maps. I have a 5% chance at these rewards. I believe I could kill Drox. It's just the last time I, I got absolutely obliterated by stuff. Burning ground, poison on hit, fizzes extra fire, less effective curses. So it is a dangerous map. Peninsula map corrupted. It says two corrupted bosses. I think I take this. It's only a T9, but it will refresh all of them. So now I have a new, I have a corrupted T15 map I need in here. That's See, that's why I didn't want to just take the thing. This is huge. Okay, but it also refreshes the inventory, which only gave me up to T8. Sad. Okay, but we have a heading. Oh, it's a peninsula not map, not plateau. Oh, well, still a corrupted boss. All right, it was kind of short-lived, but Kirak gave me the best thing he possibly could. A new map on a tier I have not completed that is corrupted. So we'll send it. What does he have in here? No red maps, only up to T8. Okay, there's breaches in here as well. And I'm cursed by Enfeeble. Unbound ailments. Underground sea map, that's a T14. I didn't get that Kirak mission. I well do it around that T13 with Alva. Okay, boundary boss. With increased life area of effect. I, think, I don't know if this counts as two bosses or not. Just gotta watch out for the panther. But uh, it seems like they can be very easily manipulated by a decoy totem as well. And even with the enfeeble, it's just like, oh, drop a decoy totem. Here, look at this. I'm going to melt your faces off. Ow! Oh, easy there. Uh -uh. Yikes. <laughs> I'm not sure what it was that killed me, but it was, it did a lot of damage. It was almost dead too. Okay, just gotta, wa gotta watch out. Not for the panther as much. Don't get destroyed by that. Okay, gotta follow him from that guy. Maybe it was that attack? Maybe it came from the Shifting Ire? Or maybe it came from the enemies that spawned? Oh yeah, it definitely came from the Shifting Ire. So I guess it must have a set number of enemies it can spawn into. As it keeps switching between the same few. I don't know what was launching those Chaos Balls across the room. Oh, we get another one of these. Map bosses have a 30% increased chance to drop a Conqueror map. Mm. 
the 14 plus 1 percent chance for elder shaper guardian probably a pretty important thing to have if i'm going to be up here doing red maps that's, that's a thing that i'll need mm, i think i go for contested development i really don't see myself fighting any staying power up here in these red maps i don't know arrow nova support nice canyon map t14 incomplete ah it's happening steel skin hit level 20 oh hell yes thank you kirak okay so what are the maps we got here sunken city maze and carcass i re-roll the underground sea horizon into a maze maze and canyon get chisels alks maze is really nice also not the worst Reduced flash charges sucks. Corrupt them. Unidentified on that one. Still have a canyon map. Two unique bosses corrupted. More monster life. Boss life. Chaos res. Ooh. <laughs> okay. We'll do the canyon first. So if, I, if I don't get a T15 map out of here, and I have to run Exarch in this map. If I don't get a T15 out of here, I'll run the incursion in the 14. I'll be okay with that. More monster life. More magic monsters. Chaos res. Wow. Get out of here. Look at striking spiders. That's some garbage. Got a fox shade. Increase movement speed while on full light. That's a lot of extra movement speed. Only deicide mask. Is this one worth saving? It's fairly highly rolled. I'm gonna have to tweak this loot filter to start showing me bases that are rolled well. It is currently not set up for that. It definitely highlights certain bases, but I also haven't updated that list of bases since before Vigilant Strike was a thing to get Fortify. Um, yeah, before they changed fortify into the stacks that's why karui scepter is one of these larger items on this loot filter it's been a minute but well, karui scepter being the fastest attack speed scepter base to try and craft scepter spell weapons that you can use for vigilance strike yeah good times those were that's a solid sages garb champion kite shield mineral ah we have encountered the bosses. During cries level 19, along with another control destruction. Okay, the bane wearing off did not do much. Mm. Come on. Here, fire at that thing. I know y'all like decoy totems, right? Ah. Ah. Wow! Two unique items from the same enemy. What do we got with this one? No, peninsula map. Why is the rain of arrows from this boss? Just a normal rain of arrows pin. At least this pin's only a, a one second. Warbreaker Malachi's loot. And we have us uh 81 plus tab. Okay, so there's one more doggy somewhere. There he is. Hey, you like decoy totems? Ha ha ha, you sure do. Ha 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 ha. Ooh, oh, oh. yes. Okay. So this is good to know. I don't have to be specking those nodes to get the extra Elder Shaper map drops. Eradicator in a ghetto T16 map. Infinable vulnerability. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, I have contested development now. Everything in that map was so tanky. Power charge and feeble vulnerability beyond. It's not terrible. Vulnerability sucks, but at least it's not going to affect me with the Eradicator. Could affect me with the beyond mobs. Came 18% quality. Let her rip. Okay, okay. So I've done this before. It didn't work out so well last time, but I'm feeling a little better with this build. Oh no, no, I need a T15 map first. Because if I got a T15 map, I could, I could get Exarch influence and then I could get the Exarch from this. Okay, so we run the maze map first and I need a T15 map so I can run this and get the most value out of it I can. Here's Crusader boots that are one off on the armor, but they're magic. I'd have to scour them to even be able to try and craft them. I don't know I pick up or search for the blue bases. Would really like to get this level too before potentially fighting Searing XR. 277 on Titan Screeves. They are 81, so they can roll the top resists. It's stuff like this right here is the biggest reason I've been saving my Alks. Not necessarily to roll them on maps. It's just like, or the really good bases that drop. I think Igna Phoenix might be scarier than Vol. How to fight both of them in this room? Who's gonna drop me better stuff though? Vol or the Exile? See? I mean, I think, I think Vol dropped me better stuff here. <laughs> okay, so another point here. I think I actually start working towards Remnants of the Past. 0.3% chance for Synthesis map. That's T11 plus. Better potential to get value out of this one, potentially. Well, 2% chance for maps to be one tier higher. That's something at least. 
Okay, so these boots are clearly like elk bait. I'll try. No. This XIL dropped me gold ring. Hmm. How do I go about getting another T15 map? I still have the T16 that I can use for the Alva mission. Go ahead and use the T13 and see if I can get any to go up. Oh, we got another. Oh, we got another cure. <laughs> Oh, in that case, what is here? Okay, nothing new or good in there. Reroll it. There's a unique item in a T11 crater. I think that'd be a waste when I could run a T15 map. Mmm. Let's hit it again. Oh, there's a lot of maps in here. Cemetery, not corrupted. Channel is not corrupted. T15 coves is corrupted. There's two bosses in there as well. Hmm. Maybe I hit the Vol scouting report. What's this got? I've done all of these maps. Untainted Paradise, T10. Corrupted Acid Cavern says two bosses for corrupted map. Uh, you gotta go with the Untainted Paradise. We're at 65%. Whoa! Oh, devours. All right, there we go. Eight monsters left in there. But 76% of the level now. 11% out of there. Pretty massive. And the big question is what's in the purchase? Ah, uh, it's the T10. No red maps. What do we have in here now? Shipyard. Academy. Haunted Mansion. Arsenal. Frozen Caverns. There's a Blight. A minus max Blight, though. Vault Scouting Report. That's what we got them for, right? Let's try and get this. That's a ghetto. That's a T16 ghetto map. That is the map that I have. It's corrupted, though. And it's a T16 map from Kirak. No, that's a ghetto. No, this is a good one. I thought that one was Grotto. Monster damage and feeble. Okay, let's do it. Map opens. What do we got? T12, T11. T12 costs four alchemies. Mm. All right. T16 map. Decoy total. You're worried about stuff killing you. Just use a decoy total. A boss already? No. We well, got a map back. It's just a T3 map, though. First Crypt. That's T12. Vol scouting report. Okay. Came from a Kirak map, but Kirak maps don't use your atlas in any way uh i guess it could have had a natural chance to spawn volcanic fish another map t1 and the boss here look at that totem here we go uh, and we got a vol orb favorite map, sl map slot unlocked okay this one's easy city square two more percent chance for maps to be one tier higher and i opened every chest destroyed every barrel turned every I left no stone unturned in this map. What do we got here? Imbued Catalyst. And yep, Decoy Totem OP. Ice Crash. Only three Vol Orbs. Mm -mm. I want to corrupt my Essence Strain. Let's do it. Okay, it's still level 20. What about the other one? Come on. Ah, oh, I'm gonna level a Zell Tree and Purity of Lightning. All right, let's hit the T13. Pretty square, T11. Okay, it's back down to T12. Or I try and run another Kirak mission and see if I can get them to re- Fresh. Find the unique item. Sure. Oh, just a T12. Oh, it showed up. There it is. It's a Roth's Reach. Oh, nice. Twin boss, too. Give me Volorps. Yes. Unset ring. Oh, okay. Sure. The Hungry Loot. You consume gems as they hit level 20 to essentially make yourself a five link in your ring slot. You get a map chest. I could go ahead and run this map now to get the incursion temple to t16 but in doing so i would have to get another t16 map in order to get my exarch mm. yes we see what the t12s have for us pretty large map for a single rare item neuros harp great concrete ground you shatter an enemy really low rolled increased effect of chilled ground a harbinger bow so it's slow even with an attack speed on it mm. wait a second there are nodes in the past three i want to look at what are oh those nodes are gone where are th oh. There used to be a patch of unique map notes here. Okay. Yeah, those nodes are gone, along with the boss rarity nodes that were over on this side. Part of adding all the new stuff this league, I'm sure. Well, two T12 maps down, I got two T10 maps back. That's the best that there was. If I run out of red maps before I get a T15, we'll do it. We'll just hope that I can get another T16. It'll be the only play at that point. But there's 13 of these. A 12 map. An anger. That's a new aura. Cool. And even Dominus gets baited by the decoy totem. I think since I got a T12 map, I send the T12 map just to see if we can make it happen. Right back to T11s. Right back to T12. T12 shipyard. Two T12s. Dry Sea is giving me more life. Kirak mission. That could be the way. Kirak giving me a really high tier map and it dropping me a T15 or T16. Uh, I'm okay with either. Yeah, this map's been very good. No, this hasn't been recording. Well, in that map, I just got an Elder Guardian T16, a T16, and a T15 Grotto. It came from a Kirak mission. 
that was this crazy haunted mansion. Died once right at the beginning of it, or else I would have gotten my level. Um, less effective curses cannot be taunted. Monsters action speed cannot be lowered. And I had feeble. Monsters are more accurate as well. It's big, big pain in there. But the maps came through. We have the maps to go. And I did another... I got I got a singular scouting report and did another Vaults of Ziri. So I have a Dusk and a Midnight now. Still really want this level. Um, this ghetto map, I should Horizon. We got Ancient City and this Grotto. Let's see what we get here. There's Reflect, less chance to block and feeble. It's better than the one I just did. Cannot regenerate life matter. Yes, I need the this T15 doable. Crit chance monster life. That's okay. Corrupt this. Unidentified. Burning ground and feeble. Lots of ignite. Should be okay. We'll corrupt this one. Better ancient city. Into the grotto. And we take Exarch influence. Oh, much better than the last map. And feeble suck. Shrine. T13. Grasping vines are killer. All you can do is really run. Or you're just going to be getting slowed. But if you're just running, you can't attack. Decoy totem, though. And that haunted mansion had two bosses. And I got all three of the maps came from that boss room. I almost have the maps to run Eater as well at this point. There's boss, another Vol Orb, another Atlas passive skill point. Percent chance for maps to drop higher. 12 map. I still need a 14 plus map to get Eater as well. Also, pressure magic monsters. Monster variety. Okay, Ancient City can go. This is the one we bring Incursion into. T16. Exarch influence. This should be the one. Oh, I don't know if it is. Can't go right. Start dying, please. There we go. All magic monsters in here. It's kind of a, a lot. Okay. Architect down. Oh, Stone of Passage. Okay, I know where it needs to go. Oh, okay, cool. That magic pack let me through. It made it to the boss room. This is a lot of magic monsters in here <laughs> oh transmute chance that was a doozy okay now defeat the map boss okay i had to wait for them to spawn in but this will do it there's a t13 i get horizon orbit if i'm desperate for a t14 this map is also enormous so it still show up oh corpse detonator don't need none of that buddy but again royal meeting room i i try and upgrade this i think I try and add Ad Ziri to my temple. Did I do a T16 Ad Ziri? I think so. It is way easier than an Uber Ad Ziri. There it is. Iridescent Invitation. We got a Dread Arc. Cursed enemies with the ability on hit with movement speed as well there. Another point. I'm gonna I want this ribbon to the past. Iron Ring. Venopuncture. Alright, what else has Alva got in store here? Oh yeah. Upgrade the Ad Ziri room. Come on. Architect. Got that. I don't think I'm getting the thing though. Great Mallet. Chober Chabber. Increased skill effect duration. Minion life. Minion melee gems. Meh. This one. Tempests. Another all magic enemies. Architect down. Now I have to connect the Atziri room. Or I like slowly beat my way through this. Cool. Yes. Level 89. Okay. This level. I would love to get Chaos Res reduced effective curses on you. With an additional 20% on the mastery. But I think I'd take this jewel socket for another seven dot multi we're over 5k life now good stuff never a more perfect time to go fight the searing x oh boy and we finish it off with an abyss lovely okay well it didn't go anywhere it waited for me to clear the monsters and then a few stragglers up here and then just close i don't even know oh boy incandescent invitation i haven't done this fight in a, a couple months Annihilation. yes Target that decoy totem. Okay. It pops. Oh! oh! You're kidding me! I, I thought I saw the pulse. I pushed it a little too early. Okay, let's try to time this a little better this time. Okay. Okay. Made it through the first ball phase. 
Okay, do it again. Oh, took one hit. Steel skin had my back there. Ow! Ah! Ooh! -hoo 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 -hoo. Come on! Not like this! Made it through the ball vase and I died of that. I've died to Temporal Rift and the Flame Wall. Okay. Yep. Dead. Okay. Wait it out. How about you die, Mr. Searing Exarch? I love one of those shields. Ah! <laughs> I have a forbidden flame. <laughs> and I have a void stone. Alright, we need to... Put this in the global chat. 60% reduced elemental resistances. Um, top tier roll on that. Never done anything with that. Imagine completing this in Ruthless. Okay, 25% chance for maps to be one tier higher. Okay, it does not upgrade the Atlas. Interesting. Another favored map for T10s. Forbidden Woods has three. Underground River, Tethiled Cathedral. Forbidden Woods does have three bosses. So does Courthouse. I could put it on the T12. Okay, another Book of Skill. Next one's Remnants of the Past. Okay, T12 is this. Uh, I guess I have to get one of the Infinite Hunger. All right, let's do that. The square map. Okay, then. Infinite Hunger, shall we? No movement skills. This is going to be fantastic. Oh, why don't you melt? Melt. No, you! Ah! Almost! Wow. Oh, this is just lovely. Yeah, this is fantastic. Yeah, this is certainly okay. There we go, infinite hunger. Ooh, what is this? Plus one all max res, increased duration of ailments? Which is more dominant? Eater. Critical strikes inflict malignant madness. Reduces damage and action speed by 10%. Well, that's wild. I wonder if I can change it. That's really cool. Another one down. So I have remnants of the past now. I need these three points right here to be these three points. Oh, I actually don't need these curex if i'm not running curex I and mean, i can take these put them in here or peeling this out and i take randomly encountered master missions have increased chance to be nico and then grab two more of these work towards conquered conquerors oh, i don't have any Listen, currency 12 will work t11 will not so 12 13 14 15 16 i have 13 so anything higher than 13 will work you know what i really need to do i need to put this jewel in the passive tree exile cool Abyssal Depths. No jewels, no Stygian Vise. Raider, 22.3% chance. Yes. T13 down. No T14 map, though. All right. Well, I'm doing it. Take the T13 map. We Harbinger Orbit. Now it's a carcass map. Map I've not completed. Minus 11 max res. Volet. Two unique bosses. 
Okay, I'm down. Oh my god. Fracturing orb on this ranger bow, plus two bow gems. T2 fizz hits the plus two bow gems. Kind of a rip. I mean, it's not the worst thing. That's cool, though. I would like to fracturing orb something. All right. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, that's fantastic. Ah, those things hit so hard. Oh, I'm so dead. Yeah, those six unholy aberrations come out. Yikes. I also got vulnerability, monster damage, move attack, cast speed, vuln yeah, fizz is extra, less recovery rate, reduced chance to block. It's about as bad as it can get. Oh, come on. Send some of them out. As long as I can get in there. No, come on. I didn't even get the Bane off. Nope. It, it's just these two things. Ah. Okay, well, that's fine. We can go to the next one. Less effective curses. No taunt. Dick. A really good one to bring Nico in, I think. God, it's a T16 with the quality. Let's see. I really want to kill this. Map boss. I cannot slow enemies. Such a pain. Got my eater spawn. Ash and wood. T15. Another new map. Sucks I didn't get to complete the carcass map. Oh cool. Don't have to actually fight this boss. Wow. Yikes. Over this glancing blows block. Okay. Let's do this now. Pure fire. Cannot be slowed. And less effective curses on top of that. It's fantastic. Definitely is going to die faster than Exarch did. Ow! One phase down. Ouch. No! I pushed the righteous fire button. Probably not my best play. Okay. I'm hit by that every single time. Three. I didn't think I'd be able to get up another Volray just fire that fast. There we go. Oh, wow. Five Elder items. Minion damage. Curved blade. Dot multiplier. Poison. Immolate. And flat fire to spells. With accuracy, rarity, garbage. Plus two chance to block armor you blocked recently. Dot multi for poison. Interesting. Best thing is probably this immolate flat fire helmet. Nothing amazing there though. Ouch. Forgot how scary that map was out there. Ow. Fizz monsters come out of the portal. Elder portal. They hurt. Like a lot. Dying in the map is not how we get more maps here. I do have more Nikos that I need to find as well. Red map. What we got? Foundry. T15. Last one of these Nikos. 1407. And so much death. No, nope. And deck. Resistor up. That's fine. Just this is extra with ridiculous fizz on these Elder portals, everything that comes out of them, it seems. Less effective curses hurt me a lot. Okay, one more. Vulnerability and feeble beyond power charge eradicator. And I am taking Nico in there again. Another T16. Well, I'm still gonna have to contend with these darn portals. And I got beyond. Just need to make sure I get my Nikos and kill this boss. Most important. This one is so much better. With I can get the feeble down. It's helping so much. It's still Pretty yikes in here, but I'm managing a little bit better. Ah, oh, that was a bad spot. Two rift. Ah, finally they took me down. I made it through a large chunk of that map. I'm fairly happy with that. There's just swarms and swarms and swarms of stuff. So the portals are relentless wherever they are. Beyond is just non-stop. We've got eater influence in here. It's good. Ow, cold snaps. Maybe there aren't portals this time. It was just the last map. Just these tentacle guys. Tentacle fiends. Hey, Hossor. Oh, beyond boss eh sure whoa what was that i need to make sure i need to make it to the eradicator i should probably do that first instead of messing with the beyond boss unless the beyond boss is just gonna chase me down anyways Ooh, okay eradicator i do have an additional two lightning res for this hopefully oh yes i'm a big fan just attack the total just attack the total two three rift and bad phase 
Again, phase two down. Die, right, please. There we go. Screaming invitation. Fragment of eradication. Okay, what about the elder items? The staff. Unholy might. No. Physical attack damage will do wielding. No. Chance to avoid being stunned. That's pretty solid. The Reaver Sword. Dot multi from bleed. Endurance charge on kill. One last job. Eater of worlds. How is not having a movement skill going to destroy me in this fight? Quarter of the way down. Okay. One. Six of them. Oh, blight action. That's so much easier. Second time I have to do this. Fight's almost over. Oh! I don't think I got sucked in. But yeah, having a movement skill there would have been mighty fine. Here we go. Oh, you're going to make me run. Go! Oh. Ah! There we go, Fugitive Boots. A lot of life movement speed here. Well then, put another one in. And I've got two more favorite slots here. T10 map. Which one do I want to run? I want a lookout. And then what about a T13 map? Uh, layer, I guess. Okay. Well, that's crazy. So I just got 50% increased chance for maps to be one tier higher. So I technically could spec out of all of the shaping nodes and still will have gained 20% chance for maps to be one tier higher. And then I lose all the fizz. But I probably just keep that as next time I'll be leveling the Spectral Shield Throw up here. I did not think I was getting even one of those these today. Let alone two of them. Pack size is what I really need because I'm not going to be rushing these high tier maps next time. Right off the bat. But dang, what a day. Look at all those uniques. Crazy uniques. And Forbidden Flame. The map pool is currently 12 T11s, 2 T12s. Two T5s, one of which will be new. Maybe I'll complete that once I'm getting up here on the next character. But before we wrap up, we need to know if anything good is in these three stash tabs that I got. Ooh, I grabbed a Harpy Rapier too. Maybe I can craft something useful on this or an offhand or the Spectral Shield Throw, as well as a Corsair Sword. That seemed to be better. Lots of Chrome items in this batch, like inventory number five of the normal items. I think all of the other items go. I didn't see anything there I really needed. Maybe I save that helmet. I mm, should probably keep this minion damage Helmet as well. Has some resistances. Still, it would be a five link. Plus two bow with bow gems and socketed gems. Almost. All right, the numbers are obviously rolling higher on things. We got a couple nice knockers and some elder helmets. Two pseudo five links. Uh, blight blunt, big fizz attack speed with extra lightning. Auric mace, pretty solid there. And a tenderizer. T2 flat fizz, big attack speed, crit chance strength. And then I held on to this 
Harpy Rapier has elemental damage with attack, skills, flat accuracy. I don't know, like, add it to the potential for what we do with that. And yeah, that's the items we're saving. Crazy amount of uniques, but getting into boss stuff, I feel like that's how it's going to be. Because boss guaranteed unique drops will still drop. And yeah, that is going to be the end of Ruthless Solo Self Found until I return from the Gauntlet Break. If you're here just for the Ruthless stuff, that'll be about three weeks from now. Aside from that, I will be uploading a review that I'm still working on writing of Ruthless game mode, and we will go through the journey through Gauntlet practice as well as the Gauntlet. That is the next video you will see from me. So I like to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, definitely hit the like button as it really helps the channel out a lot. Subscribe to make sure you don't miss more videos from me. If you'd like to help support my channel, please consider using the super thanks, the heart icon just below the video, or by joining to become a member. And I'll see you all next one. Cheers.